Hi there, it's Helen Godden, all the way from Australia, and I've got a handy tip for you today. We're going to look at how to get a repeated motive along the border of that quilt easily. And we're going to use a product called Golden Threads Paper. It's a wonderful, fairly thin tissue paper type of stuff. You rip off a length of this from the roll. So let's say your quilt is a yard square. You're gonna take a yard of the Golden Threads Paper, fold it once, Fold it again so you've now effectively got four strips and then you will concertina this a lot more neatly than I've done here. And then you'll decide that you want to put a fish all the way around the border of that quilt. So you might draw a little fish on here. And then you'll take your threads and your bobbin out of the machine so you've just got that needle and you're going to stitch right the way through this thick bundle of paper, which will be quite easy to do because it's tissue paper and quite thin. You might want to just use a needle that's a little bit blunt or one that's been used for something else. And you're going to stitch right the way through that. And of course it stitches through all four layers and you'll have four long strips of continuous fish that you can then use on your border to help you get your free motion quilting and have that motive all the way around your border nice and easily. So once you've got your little row of fish all stitched through without the thread in them, you've now got a whole row of them, times four, ready for each of your borders. Now with the little fish, he's directional, so he's going to be facing nose to nose or tail to tail. If you didn't want a design like that that was directional, you will do something like a flower or something that it doesn't matter, as it's repeated, it's going to be exactly the same each time. But you've then got four strips to put on your quilt and make those borders. It makes the job a lot easier.